Hi, so welcome. <laughs> Here we are, full of Christmas cheer. Here we are on the set of Home Alone 2. <laughs> 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 We're just waiting to see the pigeon lady. Did she actually have a name in the movie or was she just pigeon lady? She played a little bit of a victim. She like had one bad, I, what did she say? She's like, oh, I didn't get a Christmas present one year and then I shot everyone out. And how did they get to the top of Carnegie Hall? So anyways, it's Christmas-ish in New York and we're here to celebrate by walking down Fifth Avenue, looking at all the shops and eventually making it to Rockefeller Center where we will, I'm sure, want to walk right into traffic. I normally want to do that on any given day, so why would today be any different? Let's get a hot dog. <laughs> I love Home Alone. Oh, Home Alone's great. Well, the thing is, like, as a kid, you think Home Alone is great, and then you think Home Alone 2 is, like, even better. And then you watch Home Alone 2 as an adult, and you're like, oh, this is the same movie as Home Alone 1. Well, as a kid, you watch Home Alone, and Home Alone is about, like, fighting the bad guys and the booby traps and stuff. But then as an adult, you watch it and it's they like- got nuggets. You know, I'm not getting nuggets. I just want a hot dog so I can get moving. There's literally no line. And they're like french fries and she's like, hi, I just want a hot dog ketchup only. All right. We might be here for a while, so we can talk about more of our favorite Christmas movies, to be honest with you. Also, I watched Home Alone 2 again recently, and there are so many moments where, how did no one say, you know what, you clearly aren't with your family. So, I mean, how, I mean, this is sort of, we said this as kids, but like, how bad are the parents? If I'm going well, on vacation again and it's the same situation, Kevin's on a fucking leash. Leash. They get to the airport and they're at the gate giving her the ticket and Catherine O'Hara is like, no, I gotta make sure everything's on. And everyone's like, we'll make sure. And she's like, okay, didn't give it a second thought. Like, no, I'd be like, okay, well, let me at least make sure Kevin gets, I don't give a shit about the rest of these people. Let me make sure that the one child I've already abandoned gets on. And then there's that old man that's like, do turtle doves. Kevin gives the pigeon lady an ornament. And if I was the a pigeon lady, dove. but it's an ornament. And if I was a pigeon lady, I'd go, great, where am I supposed to hang this? In fucking Central Park? I don't got a tree. Kevin spent $954 on room service and gave her a goddamn turtle dove. As if she's not sick of looking at birds all day. Well, let me eat great. this. Great, another, back. another bird. Thanks, Kevin. He's like, when I see this, I'll think of you in my warm house. How about you give me the envelope full of cash you stole from your father? Nope, I'm gonna take this ornament and just sit here with it on a bench, which is also my home and my bathroom and my vacation home. No, her vacation home, she goes the Upper West Side. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like uh, the turtle doves. What was his name? That's why I was just saying to Chris, that old man that was like, two turtle doves. Oh, oh yes. Uh, well, you see, Kevin, uh, it is here. Uh, um, uh, it, okay. Here I am. When did he, you are a draft. How do you feel about this one? We're at Bergdorf Goodman looking yeah. at all their windows. Mm -hmm. um, this feels like Lady Gaga circa 2010. Very Don't that. you think? It looks like they went into the attic of Bergdorf Goodman and threw it in here. We want you to do a Christmas window, but don't make it Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you <laughs> What do you feel this looks more like? Christmas or it looks like a gay Halloween party. I think it looks like a themed brunch. Christmas on drugs. All right, should we go to the <laughs> next window? Next window. <laughs> All right, so this is giving Beyonce is Renaissance tour. No, this is giving circuit party. And like that. this would be like sort of at the center and then there's like a bunch of dancers and like a DJ and... But it's very much like Beyonce's Renaissance tour, which is yeah. why I think they did it. If you've it, ever wondered what Vegas looks like at Christmas time, I also could get behind this. I, actually, I think this is great. I would have this. I love neon lights. I, she seems depressed, but you know what? What is she graduating from? The School of Hard Knocks? The school of Gay. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing gayer than this window, so she's a graduate. And she's in an Elton John knockoff jacket. Well, she would graduate like this because gays don't know how to sit. So she, <laughs> she's just sort of. Honestly, this one I can really get behind. Okay, we should rate them. Okay, one out of. Oh. 10. I give this one like an 8. It's fun. I give it a 6. What? More mirrors. I like that this one moves. I would give this one like a 7.5. But it does seem very silvery mirror. That seems to be the theme of... And they have helmets for an unknown reason. <laughs> what if I just started screaming bloody murder? Do I don't think, think anyone, anyone would look would up. <laughs> a couple of cocks. Okay, so I just want to say that we found Nick. That Nick in his highest form, kind of like, you know, Super Saiyan and Dragon Ball Z. This is Nick at his Super Saiyan form. This is if Maggie Smith and I were intertwined. If anyone from Bergdorf is watching, I need this jacket. Have we been able to afford anything in these windows yet? Under absolutely no sir. How we can't even you... afford to stand here right now. Okay, let's see how much this is. Does it say? It's on special By order. special order. So, cheap. So, <laughs> I just want to point out that all the mannequins we've seen so far 
are. Look like they're on the brink of death. This one, she could not be any more bored to be at Prada. I'm like, bitch, you're working at Prada. You could easily be in an H&M. Like, sit up. They were designing the mannequins and they were like, we want it to look like they are about to take their last breath, but it's Christmas, so. <laughs> Have companies given up? Well, this is, this, this I will, it's okay. It's Christmas in New York. This is Fifth Avenue, probably the most foot traffic of any street other than a street in a Netflix Christmas movie, than anywhere else in the world, and you can really wow and you do this. Well, I will say that something like this does feel a little, it feels a little Michael's Arts and Crafts. I would rate this a one. I don't want to buy a watch I'm not even rating this. this. What are we doing here, Rolex? Now we're at Uniqlo, which I think Uniqlo has sort of become like H&M's bougie brother. Is it bougie? I feel like it's cheaper than H&M. I H &M said H&M's bougie brother. <laughs> oh, never mind. It went away. The display <laughs> hates us so, the display's homophobic. How the hell did that even happen? I think it's an elevator. Oh, there goes the other one. An elevator for who? Your mannequins don't need to go anywhere. They're not getting Yeah, off. why are just the mannequins going? Up. Here's your empty fucking window. Jesus. I give it a 10. <laughs> here's Cartier <laughs> bus. Here's a well, here's someone actually putting in effort. Cartier. Yeah, Although I think they that used looks to do good. Panthers that were like climbing on the thing. And then now I don't know what this is. I don't know if you can hear me because we're dying of fucking carbon monoxide right now. But Here we are. Well, here's our girl looking here's... honestly better than she has. And I don't even know how. I know Mariah. Mariah looks great. Now we went and saw her at her concert the other night and she was on time. And by on time for Mariah Carey, she was 45 minutes late. But, but that, that's I'll on take time. it. She has never looked better and she sounded amazing. She sounded great. The stage got extra budget, so that looked good. I think they simplified the show, but Amina, who you guys saw in the Boston video, she made a great point that like, Mariah is literally singing like, Silent Night, and the dancers are like, like, they're just, it's too much movement. Because, you know, Mariah, she's a little Mae West now. Like, she doesn't do a lot of movement. Well, this she, is how she walks. Kind of like walking down Fifth Avenue. She looked great. She sounded great. The concert was good. Sax Light Show, sponsored by Christian Dior, in case what? you couldn't oh. read. I, honestly, it's kind of cool. Like it It's very cool. It's very pretty. But Christmas, I don't know. I mean, it's astrological themed, and I don't know how that has to do with Christmas. Like, I'm gonna say something controversial. I don't believe in astrology. I know that's like saying you hate children or something, but it's just I don't like it. I don't. What care was about Jesus's it. astrological sign? Sagittarius. He's Capricorn because he's J January, December 25th, right? Isn't I think that that's Capricorn? Sagittarius. Is Santa's birthday December 25th? Um, Jesus's birthday wasn't the 25th. They did it for the. It's not. What? Yes, it is. No, it's not. So they did it for the solstice. Pagan religions were pagan. We're using the solstice as like a religious what holiday. What are you talking about? And then the, the nativity Christians... scene is literally about Jesus being born at Christmas. It was the three wise men. One of them's name is Nick. And that's where <laughs> Santa came from. What are you talking about? Are you joking? <laughs> Most scholars agree that he was not born on that day or even in the year AD 1. Researchers have speculated that Roman Catholic Church chose December 25th because it ties with the winter solstice what researchers? and the Saturnalia, a festival dedicated to the Roman deity Saturn. Church could also co-opt this popular pagan festival as well as the winter celebration of other pagan religions by choosing the state to celebrate Jesus' birthday according to scholar Ignacio C. God. Blah, 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 blah. But anyways, told you. I Damn. came and saw the light show the other night and it is really, quite nice and you should see it. But what made the best part were these trashy women from Jersey commenting the whole time and Italian they just kept going, oh my God, it's like we're at Disney World. Look, it's like watching fireworks. And then they would like read and they go Christian Dior, top billing, top billing the whole time. It was the best. The moment of truth. Where are you going? It's over here. I know, I'm walking out here so we can get a good view of it. Nick, we did this last year. You look like a Tim Burton character. You look like Jack from Night Before Christmas came out of the closet and you're walking down the street. You're in a fur coat. Corella de Vil, Corella de Vil. All right, here we go. Now the tree, I will say the tree is gorgeous. It's okay. quite magical. Christmas, the snow's coming down. It is really pretty. So I gotta say, back in my day, you used to be able to go up close to the tree and now they have you like a hundred yards away as if the tree has COVID and we can't get close to it or something. <laughs> I don't get what the purpose of that was, but you used to be able to like go right up to the tree. I know they're acting like we've never seen, there's a million trees in the city. We know how to act and behave around trees. We're not cats. They think we're like a house cat where we're gonna go up like, ah! but I will say it's pretty. The tree's pretty. Could they do something that my mom and I do in Chicago is we use white lights and colored lights at the same time. Cause the color lights and the white lights, the white lights make the color lights look brighter. I don't think that's true. 
Is she doing a full-blown photo I, I shoot? Mean, we got a turn and burn. What's more important, her or the tree? <laughs> Don't worry, no one else is trying to get photos. It's not the most populated city on Earth, it's fine. <laughs> Look at how close <laughs> Nick is getting. He's getting so close. Right. And she won't post a single one. All right, quickly, Nick. Oh, should we take a picture? Yeah, okay, good, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Nick, le maison du chocolat. It's the house of chocolate. We can get hot chocolate. I'm good. Ice Princess is a movie made in, I think, about 2006. Talk about Oscar snubs. Starring Michelle Trachtenberg, Kim, Kim Cattrall, Cattrall, Joan Cusack, and Hayden Panettiere. And Hayden Panettiere. And it's about a girl who is a science major. She's in high school. She's like a science geek, incredibly smart. And she decides to do a project to get into college, I guess, about how to ice skate. So she goes to a skating the rink. Science the science behind ice skating. The science behind it. She decides she wants to ice skate. And within six weeks after- Without ever lifting a weight, working out, running a lap in her life, she's doing fucking double axles. Oh, and only through science. And she's sleeping with a Zamboni driver. <laughs> and the movie is just a lot of close-up shots of her going, controversial statement. Do not bring a stroller to Rockefeller Center at Christmas time. Why are you bringing strollers? I understand it's for kids. Carry them or they can walk. Well, here we are just it's next to some police barricades <laughs> and in our New York Christmas experience the right way. In true New York fashion, we can't even cross the street because there's a protest on one side and foreigners celebrating Christmas on the other side. Surrounded by police barricades. So here we are, Radio City. Um, <laughs> See the Rockettes. I think I could be a Rockette. Nick. Never. If anyone's interested in coming to Rockefeller Center during Christmas, these, these are the kinds of things that you can look forward to. If you want a really calm, peaceful experience, come on down. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Comment. Like. And follow, follow me. Follow me on my YouTube channel. <laughs> and see me on tour on the Al Dente Tour. This is so distracting. <laughs>